you will gonna you're gonna play a weekend game, then in the third game people just play like this. Because they are exhausted. Okay, you 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 win, I just you know play like this because they are out of energy uh, in the third round. So my control to keep focusing till the end, that is so important. But I made that okay, seven. Do you think that we can add some more? Can be, but this is my understanding. Okay. Is uh, judgment covered by? Yeah, judgment would be in the mind control and uh, strategical part. How about mindset? Like how you think mind control is mindset? My mind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is in your heart. In a way. <laughs> but I made it in this figure because this is like a human body. I feel mind control is head. And uh, technical intuition and technical ability and strategies, your hand that you do things. And game experience and reading is like your bottom body, which generates the power. Okay. For instance, you are like a Mike Tyson, but you are punching on the, what is it, uh, how to pump? Uh, this, uh, what do you say? The, the, the kids, they jumping on the. Uh, Trampoline? Trampoline, trampoline. Then it's not easy to make a good punch because they, he cannot take you know, power from the, the ground, is it? The bottom body. And knowledge and territory intuition is even below, which is the territory. Okay. So you need to stand on the right place, like a hard uh, area, and then generate power with game experience and reading, and then do some technical things with your hands, and then head controls your mind. What's the difference between territorial intuition and strategy? Territory intuition and strategy. Territory intuition is really like territory intuition, whether you really care about the points uh, or not. Strategy is including everything. It can be technical strategy, but uh, or other things, reading. But territory intuition is the ability that you detect the right place. I would have chance to explain this. Okay. What so, about fantasy? You need some fantasy to imagine. Do you need fantasy? I don't need fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I just need the reality that I need. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so let's talk about each part. The knowledge. Uh, knowledge, you know. What's the knowledge? Pattern or opening formation like that. But look at this case. Why is it like this part? How should black react it? You need to use your knowledge ability. Uh, so at the same time, if you have very strong knowledge ability, then you can find something something great. Black. So many of you, I suppose, expect like this one or this one. A seventeen. Uh -huh. Where? A seventeen. A seventeen. Okay, screenshot. Or here. Sixteen. Like this. Okay. The right move. What black should do is this one. I <laughs> 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 can keep the look how to feel. Is there anyone who knows this? How to feel? This is knowledge. If you try to find the solution during the game, you would spend all your time, so you're gonna lose it. Okay? Uh, A12? Mm -hmm. A12, yes, this one. Okay. That is the move. Log and attach. And black should play this one, but white plays, and it's the last one. But if you memorize this kind of very open sight, like life and death, then this also turns it to your knowledge. If I solve this problem, not, then it's not because of my reading. It's because I, I know this thing, like this. Okay. So this is also knowledge. And here as well, white plays, okay, one part of the game, white attach it, and keep, and, and block. Is it possible to keep this black or white group? This also knowledge, it is not reading. Black like can simply hane, here and this. Then why can use this? Why can use this? But it is the dead form. Two, two, two. Okay? So black doesn't need to use like power. Just poop, 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 and then like this. If you know it. And here, when black attaches and pull back, why need to save this cutting point? How would you save the cutting point? Connect? No. Is it? Instead, you're going to play like this one or this one. Okay? What makes you think to play this? Your knowledge. Is it? Knowledge. 
Okay, the knowledge is pattern and information, but also typical Chimago or some traits okay, that makes you know one of one part of your trait. And reading. Uh, Yosei also in knowledge? can be knowledge too, but Yosei is more like calculation. So territory and intuition is okay. connected. Anyway, uh, reading. Reading is separated by three sections. People imagine reading as only reading. For instance, uh, look at this case. Uh, here, when black cut, white went down. And then, is it possible for white to kill this black one cell? The answer is yes, but okay, like that. What white are targets? One, black connect, go in, capture, and connect. Then black need to save with this connection, right? That's good. You already lost? Okay, anyway. <laughs> after that, white has those stones. White are targets, push, and then cover. Then black should say, let me go, let me go. Is it? Oh, let me go. But Atari, connect, Atari, answer, Atari. Obviously. So this is the reading imagination ability that you should imagine that all oh, white, black, white, black. You know, it's eventually, you know, it's the same like this. And then here, black push, black push, black says, let me go, let me go, but it's not working like this. So people understand reading is only the reading imagination ability, whether you can read, imagine this kind of stuff at the beginning or not, like that. But also, uh, it is including this one. Black plays this, white to answer. So actual game, what white just answered to say to weakness. But there was something what white can do. This is one done level's game, and one done play, of course, just answer immediately because there is a cooking point. But if you have a good intuition, then you may suspect that, oh, this is one like this. Okay. Because after answer, black uh, play here to say to group, black need to. Okay. But instead, okay, white cuts and go down. So let me let me go. This is also connected to intu uh, reading imagination ability as well. White cuts and go down, black cuts, white bend, Atari, then is white then or black then? Both. White connect, <laughs> black Atari. Then where, where should white play? Capture. Capture, yes, capture. White can capture here. Okay. So this is <laughs> imagination. So here, this one, black connect, and black cannot play this. Therefore, white can take it. So black, this move is overplay, and one should detect this. Oh, here will could be something. Okay. This is also intuition. Okay, so here we check. So reading uh, imagination ability or reading accuracy. Reading imagination ability, if you want to train, then you should solve difficult problems. So you try to read it longer. Okay. For instance, when uh, this happens, uh, you already checked the answer that it is working like that. <laughs> then you should just try to read it. Okay. After solving the problem is even more important than before. You check. White, black, okay, you try to train yourself to, to read it. Okay? And the reading accuracy part, you should solve many easy problems. So you just solve it, solve it, easy again, again, again. Then you improve your accuracy. Because when you play a real game, you miss moves which are not difficult ones. Simple moves you miss it. Okay? But if you improve your accuracy, then you can uh, improve your you know, the percentage increase your percentage. But how to study the reading intuition? Of course, you can just solve so many problems, <coughs> many, many problems, then you can do it. But there is a fast way to train this reading intuition. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> because your intuition yeah, indicates, yeah. ah, there could be something, ah, there could be something. Okay, so that's why I made this problem. Reading intuition, uh, decide where you focus, and then reading imagination starts making working like this. There's no other problem like that, so you have a chance to get it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, territory intuition and technical intuition. Pick point moves. Uh, because I review so many games, I know that people don't care about points during the game, even though point is so important. They just jump to the middle for, for nothing. Uh, or, or 
if we focus too much on the scriptage, I, if I play here, I can do this, I can do this, do this, but okay, where's your point? Ah, I forgot, like this. <laughs> and so the strong players, I mean, strong territorial type players, they keep focusing on their energy on uh, the point part. Right? And counting ability is also the territorial inclusion. Turn the light off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, all lights. So this is like your goal. Isn't it? Like the jet. <laughs> okay. Anyway, and balance ability. That you know whether you are leading the game or not. These are connected to the territory part. Everything connected to territory. The number is this one. And technical intuition, you know. Okay. Uh, find the right moment. Play sharp move. For instance, uh, this one. Black to play, why is this upper left corner is a bit thin? How can black go? What's the right move to? E18. Where? E18. E18? E18, yes, this one. Right. Here, then, it's not enough, because why cannot pitch and get nine plays? But here, this is even more difficult. Okay. Black doesn't even need to exchange this to play this one, just here. Why? It's the same, but why? Because it's more stylish. <laughs> more stylish. Oh no, like this one. More stylish. We have to change the jack like this. Anyway, then white is in trouble. Uh, really serious trouble. Okay, anyway, so this is like technical intuition. And then stretch, okay, of course. And mind control, remove bad habits. You know, bad habits, you're the slave of your bad habits. You just play again and again the same move. Okay, so you should go out of it with your good mindset and keep the concentration and controlling the tempo, which is, I will explain later, which is quite important. Okay. Most of the mistakes come on this part, controlling the tempo. Okay. And the last one is the game experience. Uh, game experience is underestimated. Uh, the people believe that if they understand the concept of goal, they can immediately address it in their games, but they cannot do it without process. Okay. Go in the goal game, there are three steps. I don't know. Okay. I don't know is the first step, and then second step is I know. Is it okay? You didn't know, but you know. Then you believe that that is all. But no, there is third step. What is the third step? I can <laughs> I can play. Okay. I can play that move. You know you can play. But people study this part. I don't know to I know. But I know to I can play. You need to play games. Okay. Then you can do it. But people skip this part. And when they know it, they believe that they can play. But no, you cannot play. You need to have more game experience. Okay. So game experience. Get the practical power. The practical power is like this one. White to play. Black these three, four stones are weak. How should white approach to make it weaker? The general approach. What's the general approach? Uh -huh. okay. General approach is this one. Because when this position comes like this, let's say white tenuki, like this position, how should black approach? Like this. This is the proper approach. If you know patterns, then uh, you can see this in, in some pattern books that oh, this is the proper approach or this one is the proper approach. But in this case, it is not. Because it is not the proper situation. White can go one line more, like this. So black connects, then what should white do? Maybe white goes down, okay? Or white plays like this one, because those two look like you know, the proper options. Uh, but if I play here, black can push here in center, because that connection is thin, so black has better chance to escape. Or white plays this one, still this exchange is center, so black can jump. So even better move than this. More practical idea, okay? Mm -hmm. How about E8? Mm -hmm. E8? E8? Down, 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 just jump out, yeah? And ignore the top one? Is it too easy to ignore? Yeah, because if black pushes, you can do center. No, no, why is black is weak, so you should attack. You know, this is the time that you should attack. Right? It's like, okay. Anyway, so the right move here is this one. Okay. Even though it is pretty. You know, ugly or awful shape, this is the right one because this push isn't center anymore. And still black cannot save inside. <coughs> so what black would have even more difficult time to solve this pain. Okay. So here, this kind of move can be played uh, after play.
in many games. Because uh, often the, when I see the Western part pro players, they have struggled they are, uh, in their goal because uh, they follow principle and codes. They focus too much on what they studied. So just think about, ah, oh, in this case, Tiger Mouse is good, so let's go Tiger Mouse. Uh, in this case, I learned that uh, I should not co get close to the strong group, so I should not. I should not touch the weak group. You know, that kind of principle you follow. But when you play a game of Go, principle and codes and the situation, actual game situation crashes, okay, then which side do you, uh, you need to follow? I can say, like, more than like 98% cases, you need to follow the situation. Okay. For instance, um, in, the, uh, in the city area, you need to drive with only 30 kilometers per hour, okay, in general, in the general position. That's the principle and code, right? Otherwise, you get the, you know, fine, okay? so you should go like that. But what if your daughter is ill in the, the back seat? Then you need to go straight to the hospital then up, oh, but I still need to follow that 30 kilometers per hour in the city center. You should not follow it. You can go over 100 kilometers per hour. That is the situation. So if you play many games, you take more situations and you follow the situation. But the players who only study, then they focus more on principle. So this is more heavy than this. But this should be more heavy or you should control it in between. Okay, so first we discovered this part. Okay? So the ideal position, uh, this one can be learned by game experience and by lectures. This one by serious games, so you need to play many games. And reading, you should do it yourself. <laughs> reading is like, no way, I cannot teach this. I can just push you to do it. But it is like, if you ask me where the, the toilet is, I can tell, oh, the toilet is over there. But I cannot go instead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you be instead of that's not possible. So this is the thing. I can tell I can tell the shortest way to go. Or I can give some practical situation. Oh, there's no toilet, so go outside over there. And then, this is the practical situation, but I cannot go instead of you. So you need to do game experience and reading part. Okay, this is the ideal position. Do you think that your ability fit up all like this and make this good shape? No. Not really, is it? So that's why <laughs> problem begins. So I'm 5Q and my friends have the same rank, but why do we play Go so differently? We both are all bad. Okay? I mean, this way bad, my, my friend is this way bad. <laughs> like that. It's because there are different type of Go players. Uh, I spent so much time to categorize the, the type of Go players. There are two, basically two different types of Go players because Go is the great mixture between technical and territorial part. I don't know about chess, but chess is more to the technical part. Is it? That's what I'm told. Is it? Okay. Yeah, let's say. And the territorial part. Territorial part does not exist in chess because they don't count. They just crash. <laughs> but in this game of Go, you have it. So you need to switch one to another, which is tough. So if you're the technical type player, which is separated by three, then uh, philosopher type, which means that they think, 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 but they cannot you know, apply that thing uh, to the reality. <laughs> Just think, think, think. And they think very high level stuff, but miss very simple stuff as well. Ah, double atari, I missed this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you one great example right now. An honor student type. Honor student means that your, opponent, uh, your teacher teaches, then you just follow. So it means that you have lots of principle and code, but only following the principle. And the politician type, they negotiate it. Okay? They try to negotiate. When they get the question, they don't say yes or no, but oh, ah, yeah, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> and then later you don't know whether he said yes or no, <laughs> like this. So they make some negotiation. They always try to negotiate and survive. Because when they negotiate, both can survive. Or if they say yes, no, then one dies. So that's why they you know, do it. <laughs> both type player. Both type is like the type that you have a work to do, then you don't do it yourself, but you ask it. You do it. 
like this. So when you have a problem as a boss type player, you don't look your stones to solve, but you look your opponent's stones to solve. Okay, I'm I'm weak, so you make me strong like this. Okay? <laughs> that is the boss type. And the detective type player, they focus on only one part and then go deeper and deeper. Oh, there's evidence. Ah, oh, there's another evidence. Evidence and then just go like this. And the street fighter type player, they don't care about sh shape or any sort of patterns. They just cut first. And <laughs> it's so difficult to let them down. And one. This is the thing that's so difficult to discover. <laughs> Don't kill the time. <laughs> I need to start from the very fundamental question. Why do you play this game? And it asks, oh, do you want to win this game? <laughs> no, what? They say, no, no, I just want to enjoy it. Then, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just want to enjoy the game, but come here to teach me, then what should I do? <laughs> don't, don't be like that, because always when I face this uh, student, then I have a headache. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Anyway, Which so, type are you? I'm the boss type. Right? <laughs> Give word to my, oppo my you know, this, uh, uh, opponent. So like that. Huh? And then uh, here, uh, you see that philosopher type player, they have a great strategy and territory and knowledge in uh, abilities, but we had the mind control, technical part, game experience, because they don't play, but they study. Okay. And then, uh, all the student type, they have a big, you know, base in the bottom body, but cannot, you know, control their game well. And uh, politician type players, they are good at the territory part, but weak at the technical part. So, like this, you see there are different figures. So what's the best? <laughs> boss type, because I'm the boss type. <laughs> okay, anyway, you see that each type has a strong part and weak part. And it, so we cannot say one is the best, because there is a don't kill the title. <laughs> and then idea position. You need to be like this, but you are one of them. But how can you be like this idea position? Okay. So this one. Okay. This is the Street Fighter type player. <laughs> Only focus on the reading part, so there is a big power, but no mind control. <laughs> this guy, when they got like this, then he doesn't even know who the friends, who the enemies are. <laughs> so he attacks his stones and then dies. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> what type of player is this? Philosopher type. <laughs> Too many ideas. <laughs> but it's not organized. <laughs> yeah. So this is the, the philosopher type player's you know, way of thinking. He is trying to fishing, okay, but he focused too much on fishing, so let's see how it goes. And he forgot that he needs to do it on the ground. <laughs> and this is the total gesture of the goal player. This guy is preparing some event for you know his his partner, but let's see how it goes. This is when I see this, you know, like video clip, I feel that, oh, this is really like uh, my student's goal, you know, goal game. Look at, look at this. No! One problem came. <laughs> Try to solve it. <laughs> and you solve the first problem, but I <laughs> <laughs> One problem, uh, try to solve, and second problem, <laughs> main problem. Okay, everybody has this issue. How to solve? That is what I need to do. The style of play, why is it important? I believe that style of play is so important. To know style of play is important. Do you know your style of play? If you judge it yourself, it's not right. <laughs> I ask, when, I, when I get the new members, I ask, okay, how do you describe your style of play? And he says something. And later when I check their game, it's totally different. <laughs> so you cannot judge yourself. You, you judge your personal character yourself, 
difficult okay, because someone else needs to do it. Okay, so go rank system runs like that, but I don't believe in this. Okay. Do you believe that you pass all the steps? You were 18 Q, but become 70 Q, 16 Q. Do you believe that you were when you were 16, when you were 15, 14? No, it is not that. You you just pass it. You were like 14 Q, but straight go to A Q like this. Okay. There are different stages, not that kind of steps. So I believe that go level is separated in each stage. The first is beginner, okay? and then low, very low Q part. They need to uh, have more knowledge at that part. So need more knowledge in the low Q. Uh, of course, there is a personal difference. But if you improve, then you are improving by stage, not by level. So like this. So here, if you are high Q, maybe you are 4Q, then it means that you are in the, in the middle of something. So from 5Q level to 4Q, 3Q, you can improve. But when you're stuck at 2Q, for instance, there should be so many people who stuck in one level for over like over 10 years or 15, isn't it? You cannot improve from that moment. It's not because you have less ability or something. It's because you cannot jump the stage. There is a big, you know, sort of uh, gap between that stage. So if you jump over, then you can see the new goal, like opening the new chapter of goal, and then you have full way to, to run. But it's so difficult to jump over the stage. So there are two types. Some people need more ability. So go players stuck in one level because of the lack of abilities, sometimes wrong approach. So lack of ability means that you have you have some missing puzzles, that you need to find some missing puzzles to move up. But the wrong approach means that you have all the puzzles inside, but you cannot arrange it well to make the right figure. Then you need to have the different ap approaches to make the right figure. But instead, people just keep trying the same way or try to get new uh, puzzles. But you don't need it because you already have enough. Okay? So if you are stuck, in one level, when when this problem comes, at the bottom or middle of the stage, and here at the bottom at the top of each stage. So if you're stuck in one level for 10 years, 15 years, it's because of this one. The player one, he has the battery pack, stage three, and then stage four, he doesn't have a full battery. So he needs to fill up the liver, uh, fill up the abilities to to improve. But this player two. Level 3, level 3, level 3, because he need to have a new battery pack. Okay. New battery pack, if you get it, then you have a chance to get more. Okay. If I have only three battery packs, but I want to have more than that, then I cannot put more you know, what is it, uh, energy inside. I need to have the fourth battery pack to have more quantity. Right? So you need to jump over the stage. How to jump over the stage? My conclusion. This one, speed of the abilities, but this one, change the style of play. That's why style of play is important. <coughs> if you change your style of play, you have a chance to improve when you stop. In my opinion, uh, I, I was in Yongbuseng, you know, Insei in Korea. And at some point, I got bored. My goal wasn't really improved much. So I didn't want to study, you know, because you stop from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. just play in front of the board, go board, then you sound that it's interesting, it is not. <laughs> and, and especially as a teenager, I want to go outside. So instead, I read manga. <laughs> uh, go book is big, and then manga is very small. <laughs> so I put it inside, and then I just put the meaningless stuff in the board, and then check in manga. And then when the teacher comes, then I just Hold it and uh, <laughs> think that, oh, maybe I should play this, you know, like that. Anyway, I was watching, uh, reading the manga, and it was Kendo manga. Kendo, like Kendo, Japanese Kendo. And there was some strategy, because they do some tournaments in that manga, and they use some strategy to, to win. And I thought that, oh, maybe I can apply that in my game. And all of a sudden, I just stopped reading it and tried to apply. But I, put, uh, I failed failed. And at some point I succeed and I felt that ah this is the way I can do. And then I keep trying to dig in that part and I believe that I changed my style of play and improved so quickly. Yeah. So it means that you know I get the new battery pack with that manga. That's why I got a chance to improve. Right? 
So it is so important, therefore, even if you do not uh, sit in front of the robot, you should think about goal and try to make the connection. Then you may have a different approach, and that approach makes you change the style of life. Okay, so like that, you have different figures like this, and that different figures, you cannot make the best. However, it, it is like that. Uh, if I gather everything, okay, so all the street fighter type, all the student type, if I pass all that uh, style of play, then I can make it like that. Okay? So the best way to improve, especially when you stop, is to change your style of play. You should become all the students once, and street fighter once, and uh, like a point collector, like a, a philosopher type, so you improve your strategic part and become detective part, so you uh, uh, become better at the reading part like this. If you just pass, pass, pass each part, it's like having like six jobs, okay? but don't be a don't kill the type okay? all the time, that is bad, but other parts, <coughs> you become like politician type, then you learn other things like this. So you need to keep switching your style of play, but which is quite tough. Okay? So when I face other players, other students, I ask them to change their style of play, but they cannot do it. It's so difficult to do it, because they already have it. If they have nothing, then I can just give something new. For instance, they you know, grab the, uh, a cup of glass, then it is empty, let's say, then if they said, okay, give me a wine, then I can give. But when I want to give it, they have a beer on their <laughs> hands. Then I should say, oh, you should take that beer away, then I can give you the wine. Because otherwise, beer wine taste wouldn't be good. Okay? <laughs> but then, oh, okay, I will make it empty. And they just still hold it. And I say, okay, please just make your glass empty. And they say, oh, if I make it empty, then I'm three cube, but I feel that I will become like seven cube. But no, it's not true. Believe me, you just hold it and uh, you can hold your strength, but just keep your uh, glass empty. Some people believe, and they do, then I can give the new one, and they can change. They get a chance to become a better player. A better player, okay, they can improve. Okay? So therefore, they can enjoy this game even more after discovering the new part. But it's not easy to do it. But the kids players, they do. Okay? When I said, okay, you should try something new, then they say, okay. Because they don't have, they have no strong opinion on their goal. That's why they quickly change it. That's why kids players, they become stronger. It's not because they have more time or they are more you know, genius. Their brain is more flexible. So that's why they switch one to another and touch other parts. If you are the computer programmer and do the same work, then the one who do the uh, how to say, tennis player, then they have totally different life. Is it? But what, what if they switch it? Then they would have different you know, ability or experience. Is it? And what if they change to the musician? Then they would have different opinion, uh, different ideas, right? So this kind of stuff, you need to change your jobs in this game of golf. One time politician, one time detective, one time street fighter like this. Right? So this is how I do. Uh -huh. It is a personal goal report. So this is my philosophy, how to improve and I would say, first, you need to discover your style of play. Second, try to change, okay? And if you change, you can uh, get a chance to uh, become a better player. So that's why when I face, you know, because I run my online world school, and I put my philosophy in that uh, you know, school, so when they finish 15 games, then I share this report and tell that you are good at this part, weak at that part, and give some personal advice. So first year, season is the season that I discover one style of play. And from the second season, I try to change, let them change. Some people don't need to change. And I just cheer them up. Oh, you don't need to change, keep going. Because your battery pack is still not full. So keep going, keep going. You take the abilities, some, getting some more patterns or do some reading abilities. OK, let's do it. But some people, I see that they have a full battery pack, but they need a new one. Then I ask them to change it. Strong, very strong. Okay, so how to improve? If someone asks, I will say that get to know your strong and weak point first. Second, discover your style of play. Third, overcome your style of play, therefore jump to the next stage. And enjoy, with the better understanding of this game, you enjoy this game more.
uh, at the beginning, I only focused on make people improve their strengths, but I changed my philosophy. I don't want people only become stronger. If I focus on that, I should discover their style of play and let them do spend more time for goal, play like 10 games uh, a week, or sort of life and death club on 30 minutes every day. I would give this kind of task. But you know, it's hard, not easy to do it. So instead, I changed my philosophy to let people enjoy this game more. So that's why when I make the lecture, I, not, I give some information, but also I try to make it more entertaining. Okay? Because basically, your goal is to enjoy this game. Okay? I'm a helper to let you enjoy this game more. And you know, I'm not a professional player, but I believe myself that I'm a professional goal teacher, which doesn't have any certification, but you can give me the certification. So I have this, ability, uh, this, uh, or this philosophy to help you improve your strength. Okay? You, you enjoy it, therefore you enjoy this game even more. Okay? So this is my online goal school. If you're interested, you should check it. And, oh, what's <laughs> and this one, okay. Finally, the book is arrived. So if you're interested in buying this book, then it is in the book, you know, Bookshop, no, Kami, you know, Kami's shop, you know, there's a stone on the book and it's near there. So it would be great if you come, then I would make my signature as well. So thank you. <laughs> this was my five lecture series of the first week, which I taught the parrot, what is it, the the theoretical part, and also the technical part, and also the big outline of improving the game of golf. I hope you enjoyed this series. Mm -hmm. Some of you will leave, and some of you want to stay, then I will come with other topics. And uh, the first lecture of the second week will be the summary of the first week. So if you have missed some of the lectures because you didn't know me before, <laughs> then uh, Please come, because you can check the whole lectures with one hour. I will try. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>